get started. So, okay, yeah, it's now noon, Wednesday, April 1st. Welcome everyone to Noon Webinar Wednesdays. Uh, I'm just excited to say I just got off a meeting with about 100 entrepreneurs, business leaders, startups, um, nonprofits. It was brilliant. And this is an East Coast group. We want to kind of replicate that success online uh, here in the Bay Area. So I think it's going to be fun. I see my old buddy Les Bain has just joined us. Uh, Les, welcome. Uh, welcome, Tanya. Everybody's welcome here. So what we want to do is get started. There, there's a couple of things to just say up front, guys. Um, I look at this as two things. I look at this as, welcome James Knight, uh, as where we are right now is like a rescue ship. This is, this is a Zoom meeting, and this can rescue us all, keep us safe and sound during this uh, coronavirus social distancing uh, disability, where we all got our businesses disabled, our, our ability to meet has been disabled. But there's two parts of a of a rescue craft. Um, one is um, one is um, having the craft where you can pull people into and be safe and sound, almost like the hospital ship that just arrived in New York and L.A. But you have to have the rescue rafts uh, because what good is a Zoom meeting without people attending, right? So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about the value of having the rescue vehicle, and that is Zoom. And we're also going to talk about the rescue uh, rescue rafts, uh, which is a little Chrome video app called Loom, and it's a Loom is a Chrome extension. It's uh, how you kind of send out the uh, rescue rafts to reach out to people and bring them back uh, to the rescue ship, and that's. Uh, Zoom. That's where we are right now. So that being said, we're going to have some speed networking. But since I want to respect everyone's time, what I want to do is I want to start with a uh, tutorial. Let me uh, get my tutorials open here. I got to optimize my share. And uh, let me stop that. I get my. I had them open, but I I put them over here in the side. Here we go. Okay, um, let me get this one going, share this one. So what I want to do is, hmm, that's weird. Okay, here it is. I'm going to, uh, we're going to start with a tutorial on Zoom, but this is a basic one, okay? Because what we really are about here, we are about client acquisition and um, community building. I'm My background is in media, building very large audiences, and I've done that over and over again, and that's what we're planning on doing here. So we're going to start with some fundamentals, though, because we have a beginner program, we have a uh, intermediate program, and we have an advanced program, and that is high visibility network, you know, full-blown media, so many possibilities and options, but it's like spring training. Uh, you have to start with fundamentals. So we're going to start there with this Zoom meeting. I don't feel compelled to uh, create a lot of new uh, Zoom tutorials. There's plenty of great ones out there. We're about client acquisition and, and uh, cross-group networking. But I want to share, uh, and we've shared a number of different tutorials. So we're going to start with the basics of uh, Zoom, how to use it. Uh, and then anybody who feels uh, that they want to move on to the intermediate program, this noon webinar webinar uh, webinars is uh, for the uh, beginner program, kind of an introduction place, a open house, invite people, guests, and then we can move on and build larger and larger groups from there. But I did promise we would uh, invite people to learn the basics of Zoom. We're going to teach the basics of uh, breakout rooms which I just came from with 100 people is brilliant. And then we're going to teach the life raft 
uh, simpler videos, desktop video publishing with that little app called Loom. So first let's get started and then we're going to do networking. So, but if, you know, this is um, noon, some people only have maybe an hour. So I want them to get this takeaway. And then after this, you know, if you have to take off, you can take off. If you can stick around, we can network and chat and get to know each other better as well. So let's get started with this first one. Zoom website. Now, Zoom is a video conferencing software that allows for online collaboration between up to a thousand video participants and over 10,000 viewers. Now, we can't hear the audio. Okay, well, thank you for that. I don't know what happened. Uh, let's see, it's playing well here. Uh, let me check. Uh, oh, I couldn't tell if that was the video or if you were messing or loading it. Uh, okay, uh, let's see if I can figure out what the problem here is because uh, it. I just tested it, played well, and uh, but uh, Loom has got or Zoom has gotten kind of overwhelmed uh, technology-wise worldwide, and they've stopped giving personal uh, customer support. Uh, and I have started a new website, so if it does remain a problem, I'm going to take all of these. I'm going to put them on a new website uh, today, so you'll be able to access these tutorials. If I'm able to play them here or not. Uh, you will be able to access them. So let me see if I can do a workaround here. And I did optimize. I'm going to stop the share. Uh, I'm going to start the share again here. And let's see. Da -da -da. Let's try this one, see if this one will play. I'll stay on here. Thank you for letting me know that because playing well here. At the Zoom website. Now, Zoom is a video conferencing software that allows for... Are you hearing the audio now? Yes. Wonderful. Online collaboration between up to a thousand video participants and over 10,000 viewers. Now, individuals can simply click a link or add a meeting ID to join any meeting. Also, participants can join with their video on or off and or share their screens with other meeting participants. So firstly, what we're going to do is take you through hosting a meeting. Then following this, we're going to show you how to simply join an existing meeting that another individual is hosting. Okay, so the first thing we want to do before we talk about hosting a meeting is we need to sign up. So sign up is free. All you need to do is head over to sign up. And then what you want to do is pop in your work email or you can sign up using Google or Facebook. So I'm going to sign up with Google. It's the easiest way to sign up. So here you want to choose the email that you want to use. For me, I'm going to choose Stuart Gould. Then all you need to do is click create account. Now, welcome to your Zoom dashboard. Now, this is where you can manage your recordings. You can see uh, previous meetings as well as meetings that are coming up and you can create templates. But we're going to keep this tutorial extremely simple and we're just going to talk about hosting a meeting and then being able to join a meeting. So you can share your link with other participants to join the meeting that you want to host. Okay, so now that we've jumped onto our Zoom dashboard, we want to head over to host a meeting and then you can choose to host a meeting with your video on off or if you just want to share your screen. So for this example, we're going to click video on. Now you'll arrive at the screen. Now you have a couple of options here. What you can do is click download and run. If you've never used Zoom before, that's what you need to do. You need to download Zoom onto your desktop, onto your laptop. You also have the option to download Zoom onto your mobile device, onto your tablet as an application. So once you've downloaded and you've got Zoom running on your desktop, your computer or your device, then you can click here or you can click open Zoom if this option pops up. And that's going to take you to your new online conference or meeting that we've just created. 
And as you can see, you have just created your first meeting and here we are. However, we have no participants and it's just myself at the moment. Now this option will turn, uh, will pop up, join audio. So you can choose to join with computer audio or test your microphone. So for now, I'm just gonna join with computer audio. Click here. And then as you can see, you can see me. Hi. And this is great. So this is the screen. This is the video that you're going to see when you're um, when you have your video on. So what we're going to do is quickly go through a few of the options that you can see below the video. And we're going to guide you through each important element so that you can make the most of your conference or your online meeting. So mm -hmm. firstly, if we pop over to the left hand side, you can choose to mute yourself so that you cannot talk anymore, um, other participants cannot hear you. Then you can click to unmute. Then if we pop across here, you can choose to stop your video. And that's just gonna show your profile, your email profile, because I signed up with my Gmail. This is my Gmail profile picture, and this is what pops up. So you can choose to mute yourself. You can turn off your video whenever you choose. And I'm gonna click that to turn it back on. And then if we pop over here, we have invite. So again, what's a meeting without other participants? As you can see, we've only got one participant and it's myself, the host. What you can do is click invite. Now over here, you have a bunch of different options. You can actually copy to clipboards. So if you click this, you have now copied that URL and you can send that directly to um, another potential participant or someone you want to invite into this meeting or conference. You can also do the same with a copy invitation, click that and you can send that invitation to another participant. Now you can also simply click on your email. So I use Gmail. So what I could do is click this and automatically it's going to open my email and I can put in as many emails as I want and send that inv invitation directly to those email addresses. And all they need to do is click on the email, uh, type in the ID and password, and then they can enter into this Zoom meeting. So there's your password down below. We're not going to invite anyone right now because this is a tutorial. Now, if we pop along, you can manage your participants. You can mute everyone. So for example, if you're speaking in your meeting and you don't want anyone else to you know, speak and talk amongst each other and you want them to focus on you, you can click mute all. And what that does is mute every single person. Then you can choose to unmute all and you have more options here. So mm -hmm. mute participants on entry is a great way to uh, basically ensure that when people enter the meeting, they're not talking and you're not gonna be able to hear them. You know, sometimes when people enter a meeting, they forget to mute their audio, um, their mic before they enter the meeting. So this is great. There's one speaker and you just want people to join the meeting and listen uh, into that particular meeting. So mute participants on entry is great. Uh, we're going to leave that on and there's a few other options here, but I would ideally keep these ones um, as they are for now. Um, that's probably the best option. And then when other participants arrive, you'll be able to see them along here. You can choose to mute each particular participant. So for myself, I could mute myself, unmute here as well, and then more options down here. Now I can choose to rename myself, but we'll exit out of that. Now, if we pop back down here, we also have the option to screen share. So if you click that, look, I can choose to use a whiteboard or I can choose other options here or I can choose to use another screen. You know, maybe I have another browser popped up with another um, a tool or some other website that I want to show people. I can screen share or I can click whiteboard. Now, a whiteboard is great, especially if you're trying to explain something and you want to draw or create diagrams um, for everyone to see. So if I click whiteboard and click share, as you can see, it comes to this option. And now they can see my little profile, my video here, and they can also see this entire screen. Here is great because you can start drawing, you can do whatever you like. You can um, you know, delete that, you can redo, you can erase. Um, there's so many options here and you can save the diagram. So we'll clear that, clear all my drawings. And then if you want to stop screen sharing, all you need to do is click stop 
sharing and it's going to come back to the video so that's a great uh, tool there screen sharing you can um, you can also draw diagrams and it's a great way to engage and interact with your team or with others participants in your meeting so if we pop back down we can also open the chat which we've already done so here now the chat is great you can choose to send a chat directly to one participant or you can send it to everyone. You also have the option to add a file. So chat is great when you want to kind of engage in other ways. Now you can also turn the chat off and you have other options. For example, we'll come down here. Here we go. Um, so you can choose uh, no one can chat. Hosts can only chat to others, everyone publicly or everyone publicly and privately so other participants can message each other uh, indirectly without anyone else knowing. So those are some great options if you would like to use chat. Now if we pop back down here, we have record. Now if I click record, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna start recording this whole conversation and this entire meeting. There's gonna be multiple people that are gonna pop up here and they'll have their camera. So I'm gonna record without audio. And that is the recording feature. And you can see the recording up here. You can click pause or you can stop it. So we're going to stop that recording for now as we're just demonstrating. Now, if we pop that down here, we also have one last feature, which is reactions. Now, this is great if I click here. Um, this is just to essentially engage with other participants. If I click clap, I guess that's just another, you know, fun way to interact with other participants. You can also uh, click up if you agree with you know what the majority of people are talking about but again this is yeah this is great for uh engaging with other individuals online with other participants other people in your business other um uh, you know if you're having meetings this is great for meetings um, when you're trying to work with another client or if you're just interacting internally with your business so again those are all kind of the basic features zoom is very straightforward easy to use if you want to end meeting all you need to do is click and that you can choose to leave the meeting. If you're not hosting, you can just leave the meeting or you can end meeting for everyone and that is the end. So if I click end meeting for all, that is the end of the meeting. Now, because I made a small recording, that's just being converted and you can find that uh, onto your dashboard because I was the host. So I'm gonna cancel that because I don't actually need uh, that recording. And then we can exit out of here. And now let's head back to Zoom. So that is basically how you run a meeting. It's extremely straightforward. Now, if you want to uh, essentially invite another participant to join your meeting, I briefly talked about that when it came to the meeting itself. When you're in the meeting, you can click invite. And that way you can send you know, emails or you can copy the ID of the meeting and the password and you can send that to participants that you want to join your meeting. Now, what does that look like? You can click join meeting here if you want to join. All you need to do is pop in the meeting ID here and then the password and you can join a meeting. Now, if I were to send a link um, to a meeting, the ID as well as the password, that's gonna look like this. As you can see, I opened Gmail because that's the email that I use. And this is what was sent automatically to me to join the meeting. So if someone else is hosting the meeting, they would send this to me. And all I'd have to do is click this link here, put in the meeting ID, and the password and I'll be able to access that meeting. And here we are back at Zoom. As you can see, that is everything you need to know to be able to host a meeting yourself or to join a meeting as a participant. So it's a very powerful but simplistic uh, video conferencing software that small and local business owners and, and staff can simply use to essentially stay productive, to stay connected and to especially stay safe especially as we have this pandemic happening right now. Uh, Zoom is a fantastic solution for a lot of small and local business owners, not just to communicate and connect uh, internally, but to also communicate to potential clients or current clients. Um, it's a fantastic communication tool and online, uh, online software for meetings and conferences. Now, if we head over to plans and pricing, as you can see, you can just get away with using the free plan for now. Uh, although it's limited to 40 minutes uh, per group, 
um, but you can have up to 100 participants. So great for short meetings. Um, again, if you want to increase that, meeting duration limit here is 24 hours with the pro version, and that's only $14.99. And that is everything we wanted to cover today in this video conferencing software called Zoom. As you can see, it has everything you need to host your online meetings um, and online conferences with, with your staff as well as with clients. So that is Zoom in a nutshell. All right. So the idea here, guys, I don't want to bore, uh, you know, the uh, uh, intermediate and advanced users. Um, but we did, we have a program that we've been putting together with cross group networking online, offline and combined. We're going to have speed networking on an ongoing basis. And it looks like we're, uh, beginning the sessions at, uh, 10 AM on Mondays and 2 PM on Fridays. Um, and we have organizing and planning meetings on Tuesdays. Uh, for people that want to move up from a beginner level um, to an intermediate level. Now, one thing that I do want to comment on is that we um, do have more tutorials, but this is kind of like an open house. This is a place that we're doing cross-group networking. We're teaching people how to reach out with uh, new, simpler to use uh, video tools to bring people back. If they're beginners, you can bring them right here or you can bring them on, uh, on Mondays at 10 a.m. for actual speed networking online or Fridays at 2 p.m. Uh, but we also wanted to have a place for beginners to get in where you fit in. We've got places for beginners, intermediate and advanced. I just got off, as I said, this morning with a group of 100 people doing speed networking. It was awesome. So I'm going to ask if there's any quick questions. I do have a couple more tutorials, just so you know. Uh, one is about using breakout rooms, because that's really the purpose. And so when we start to have breakout rooms on for networking on Mondays and on Fridays, it's going to be important for you guys to understand or at least have a little orientation about how to use Zoom breakout rooms, especially um, for our digital ambassadors. Okay, so that's one thing I'm gonna share next. And then after that, I'm gonna share you, or show you how to use the Loom video app for creating, and that's short. Uh, then we'll chat intermittently and we'll network. But that's kind of the plan overall of the meeting and what I want you to be able to take away. So before I move on to the next tutorial and we want your feedback, you know, what would you like to learn? Uh, and do you have any quick questions for me before we move on to the tutorial about, and it's not very long, I think it's about three minutes, four minutes about using the breakout room so you can see what those are all about. Any questions though for right now? Everybody good? Okay, we're, re we're gonna move on to the next tutorial. This is about, this is where you can really, if you're about client acquisition and community building, this is the next vital tool that it's gonna be very, very important to have a destination and really understanding how to use this amazing destination of uh, Zoom breakout rooms. So let me share this with you. Oops, I got a redo that one because I didn't optimize it. Okay, screen share. Optimize the video, that's important. And here it is, okay. This is not long, this is only a couple of minutes, I think three minutes, here it is. And launch your Zoom meeting room. In order to manage breakout rooms, you will need to be a host in the meeting. The first step to using breakouts is to assign users into their rooms. To do this, click on the Breakout Rooms button at the bottom of the Zoom window. Select how many rooms you want to create, then select if you want Zoom to automatically make the groups for you, or if you want to manually assign users. For this video, I'm going to manually assign users, then click to create the rooms. This brings up the selection window where I can manage which users are assigned to which rooms. Selecting a sign next to the room's name lets you select which users should be added to the group. 
Once I have everyone assigned, I can still move them to a different room by clicking the Move To button next to their name. I can even exchange a user from one room with a user from a different room using the Exchange button. Once everything looks good, I can click Open All Rooms to start the breakout sessions. Once I start the breakouts, users will be prompted to join their breakout room. You can see whether or not a user has joined their breakout room by monitoring the breakout rooms panel. As the host, you can move between rooms by clicking join next to the room's name. This will put you into the breakout room. You can click leave on the breakout rooms panel to return to the main meeting room or join a different breakout room by clicking the join button next to the room's name. If you'd like to send a message to all of your breakout room participants, click on the Broadcast a Message to All button and type your message. When you're ready to stop breakout rooms and bring everyone back together, click on the Close All Rooms button. This will give users a one minute countdown to wrap up their thoughts and rejoin the main meeting room. If you need to start breakouts again, you can do so by clicking on the Breakout Rooms button. You will see the existing rooms, but can redo the rooms by clicking on the Recreate button. If you need to add a room, you can do so by clicking on the Add a Room button. You also have the option of renaming your breakout rooms by clicking on the Rename button next to the room's name. Finally, if you need to remove a room, simply click on the Delete button next to its name. All right. Uh, now, I will say that a lot of people have, especially today, Zoom training. But a lot of people don't understand how to populate Zoom meetings. And that's really, uh, I think, my forte is to be able to help people understand um, how, to, how to really build an audience and how to get a ton of people here. That's what we're going to be able to do. And that's going to be the vessel because we had, I think we had 24 breakout rooms and only about five people in a room, but we kept rotating the rooms. So we met a lot of people. So I want you to see the vision, but really we're about client attraction and community building. So now the next tutorial I want to show you is that a Loom video app where I can literally use desktop video publishing to create short videos um, as fast as I can leave a voicemail message. That's how we're all going to be empowered to use this vehicle to invite people back. We all can reach out, we all participate, and then we all come back together after we've gathered the group into one place so that we can all network, speed network, and really build across multiple groups, Toastmasters group, B&I groups, chamber groups, uh, Zoom networking groups. We can bring them all back and then we all get the collective benefit of a group that's growing and growing excuse me, growing and growing. So now let me share with you how, and this is gonna be, this is gonna be a quick little tutorial. It's not gonna cover everything about uh, using the Loom app, but it'll give you a picture of the idea of sending out, using this technology to send out little invitations to your friends to bring them back to the collective Zoom meeting where we'll all do some speed networking together. So let's take a look at this. Hello everyone. Okay, I want to make this a quick tutorial of creating shorter videos or simpler videos, I should say. So I'm going to use this a desktop uh, Google app called Loom and I'm going to click on it to open it up. Here it is. And now uh, the settings are here. I'm going to use my built-in camera and I'm going to select the microphone I want to use, which is um, blue snowball. I'm using that right now for both the desktop video and the tutorial that I'm recording. Now I want to select the custom size of what I want to capture on my screen but I'm going to use a keynote as you can see but this could easily and I select down here that I'm using the desktop instead of the monitor that's also hooked up and now that will allow me to capture just this one slide. But whatever I want to have behind me, I can drag uh, this little liner around it like this. And then I come on camera right here in this circle. So now I'm going to start recording on the app. 
I can create videos like this as fast as I can leave a message on a voicemail machine. Uh, so I'm actually creating two videos at once. Hopefully it'll also work and it won't crash. Uh, push the computer too hard, but let's see what happens. So I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna look at the lens and I'm gonna move my mouse right here because uh, this will pop up the pause button when I wanna pause it. Hello everyone, I'm Mike Hayes and this is a quick video tutorial so I can show you how I can now create videos as fast as I can leave a message on a voicemail machine. So let's say it was literally you can have in your mind that you're just leaving a voicemail. So hey, I met you at a networking meeting this morning, just wanted to reach out and say hello. I'm gonna email you this short little video so you can uh, see it. And then what's gonna happen, I'm going to add a link up here in the corner right to my calendar so that um, you can, if you wanna talk, you can just click on that link. The reason I want to show you this, how easy it is, is that I've started Cross Group Networking and Cross Group Marketing TV for us all to work together with in the new coronavirus social distancing era. And this is a great way to promote online meetings so that you don't have your business suffer setbacks or even obsolescence because we don't know how long this coronavirus is going to be around so we have to be prepared that's really a key but i just wanted to show you if, if you uh hold meetings offline or on you still have to invite people so this is a great little video invitation i just wanted you to see it now i can pause the video right here right now i can get up and do whatever i want um you know take it a, a minute or go research something or go change uh, uh, slides or websites so I could go to uh, this slide. In fact, if I didn't want to be on camera, I can just move the bubble out of the way and have a picture uh, of me. So I, you don't even have to be on camera. So I just wanted you to uh, see that. And then I will finish out the uh, recording here. I'll change the slide back so it kind of makes sense like this. And now I'll turn this back on to finish the recording. So again, that's the recording. Uh, and don't forget to um, take a look. <laughs> Wait, here, here I am over here. There we go. Uh, in the upper corner, right-hand corner. And uh, you can click right there. That's the beauty. This is a call to action link right inside the video. So this is a great way to invite people to your online meetings. Now I'm going to pause it. Think for a second, is there anything else I want to add to it? No, nah, I think it's good. Now I'm going to end it. Now look what happens. This is really great. So it goes right here and it suddenly uh, renders and now here it is and ready to play. Let's listen to it for a second. This is a quick video tutorial so I can show you how I can now create videos as fast as I can leave a message on a voicemail. That's how easy it can be. I wanted you to see that. And what's the nice thing about it is this, is you can add a call to action button right inside. So let's say I want you to join me or to learn more and go visit Noon webinar witness day. And so I can put the link right here www noon webinar witness day dot com. Now I save it. And now this link will take us right to the website of. So here we are on noonwebinarwednesdays.com and that is a quick tutorial on how to use the Loom Chrome extension to bring people into your webinars. All right, there you go. Now, I just uh, created these uh, these 
video tutorials really this morning. So, I mean, this is how fast we can move guys today uh, with content, content creation, networking, outreach, and everything else. So now uh, I try to keep these short and sweet. You know, I know how busy everybody is, uh, but we like to uh, make these multi channels and multiple parts of it. So right now we only have 11 people on this particular call. So why don't we start doing a little networking and uh, reaching out. One thing that um, maybe I'll start with Becky Hess. Uh, Becky is uh, from my Global Business Mastermind group. And uh, Becky's a longtime friend, um, and we use the chat box a lot um, in uh, our global business mastermind. I look at it kind of like three-dimensional chess. You know, while while something's going on, even when it's playing the tutorials, you know, you could be reaching out um, and chatting up each other because you can chat privately. If you click on the chat box down there at the bottom. Uh, you can select somebody to send a message to. I can, in fact, Becky and I did, right? Becky, we were talking about the fact that uh, uh, James had, James Knight had joined us, uh, uh, a friend from another uh, meetup, one of Becky's. So, uh, Becky, welcome. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, how we've known each other through uh, Zoom meetings, and can you speak? Yeah, I can. I've just been quiet. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Welcome. Mike and I have known each other well, probably for about a year and a half, right? Yeah. But so we've or, never or longer, met in, never met in person. We right. have done all our interaction through either phone calls or Zoom calls. But I feel like he's part of my family. I, I adore working with him and he is one of the main reasons because I've been working with him and become so good friends with him. He's one of the main reasons why I do Zoom networking here in Utah for, for my meetup groups. Because when this all hit, I've been practicing for a very long time with Mike. And when this all hit and everything shut down, I knew exactly what to do. And I felt comfortable to do it. So you are with the king right here. He can, if he can teach me, he can teach anybody, right? <laughs> so I'm, I'm so excited to see so many of you here. Hi, James. <laughs> And he, he, this guy will lead you in the right direction of the future and anything that's possible. So. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you know, the thing is, yeah, we're using technology, but, you know, Becky and I, we formed a real emotional human bond. We've been able to do that. Uh, so I don't want everybody to think that it's really a sterile environment. We've cried together. Um, you know, we, we've really had a, a real powerful bonding experience and like she said we've never met but you know we trust each other we like each other and these are the kind of friendships and relationships that can be built so thank you for sharing that becky my pleasure okay very good uh who would like to go next and please chat, Becky, if you want some excellent help, if you're stuck in some place, mental, Becky has years of experience as a human uh, resources expert. She's expert at interviewing, getting down to the real problem, helping people get through them. We've had breakout sessions together, one-to-one -one, uh, challenges, you know, that I've had to overcome. Um, it's still a challenge to overcome, but, uh, but she's great. And if you need any help, you want a solid foundation for your business, please reach out and network with Becky right now. So again, thank you, Becky. Who'd like to go next? Okay, I'll call on somebody. I'll call on one of our crew. Joe, uh, how about you? Would you like to uh, go next? Oh, Joe, you're on mute. Let me, uh, maybe my fault. Let me see if I can unmute everybody. Hold on one second. Uh, participants. I think you can unmute yourself. Yeah, I unmuted. There you go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a noon webinar Wednesday. Good to see you all here. Hi, Craig. How you doing? Uh, Craig is a very good friend of mine. Uh, I've known Mike for now for a couple of years. And he's brilliant at uh, social media networking. And he started this noon webinar on Wednesday. And uh, I've been working with Tanya 
and Joel, who are on the air call, and he's teaching us how to do videos, how to uh, better communicate with folks. And it's a pleasure to uh, see you all, and I think we'll uh, learn a lot here from uh, Mike as part of the new webinar Wednesday and all the uh, subsequent meetings that we'll be having to uh, promote social distancing networking. Joe, tell us about your business. Sure. I'm an asset protection consultant. So what does that mean? I help you. Uh, <laughs> I'll call them black for a moment. That's okay. What I do is I help you protect your most valuable asset and retain your wealth. So my prime business is helping business owners become more profitable through cost savings in their business. And I do that through 11 different approaches, which involve what are referred to as specialized tax incentives and business expense reduction programs. I have 11 approaches where we can save business owners, cost, uh, save them money. 10 of them, 10 of the 11, are provided at no out-of-pocket cost and at no risk. You may be wondering, well, how's that possible? My firm shares in the cost savings we generate. So there's no uh, uh, out-of-pocket cost for the business owner. If we can't generate the cost savings, we do not get reimbursed. Consequently, there's no risk for the business owner. There is one approach that we use uh, where there's a nominal subscription fee because of all the work that's associated with determining whether or not a potential candidate that's to be hired to qualify for a tax credit for the business owner of up to $9,600. Uh, but that's only one out of, the, out of the 11. And that's where I spend uh, most of my time is helping business owners become more profitable. And at this time of uh, uh, impact by the coronavirus, everyone is uh, looking for ways to save money and be able to keep their employees. I've been sending out information on my LinkedIn page and how to apply for the federal program that's out there. Just got a call, uh, text from a client today. He's working on the SBA loan uh, right as we speak. So if you guys are interested in, in learning about what's going on, where you can get money, please uh, uh, contact me. I'll put my uh, uh, email address and phone number up on the uh, chat box and we could talk about how we could uh, improve the financial situation of your business. All right, very good. Joe, thanks for stepping up and playing the game with us. We appreciate that. Uh, please reach out to Joe. You can chat him up. You could become referral partners. You can learn more. But let's really focus on building friendships and commerce. If we do that, we're all going to uh, make great relationships and uh, I think get a lot out of this. I'm going to uh, ask everybody to uh, focus on maybe two minutes. I'll give you three minutes. You know, I'm going to be a timer like in Toastmasters. And here's what I'll do just to make this simple. If somebody's over three minutes, I'll put up uh, that little uh, banner right there. And that's your kind of cue that uh, it's time to start wrapping up, okay? So uh, who would like to go next? I know my buddy, Joanne Bradley, will be amazing when she speaks. Joanne, are you ready to uh, talk and share a little bit about you, your background? <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll go. <laughs> there you go. My name is Joanne Bradley. I am a transition life coach. The name of my business is Words for Life Coaching. It's located in the lovely city of Venetia. I have um, been there for about two, about two, three years now, but I have a background in medical. I did 20 years uh, as a medical social worker and transitioned into a career of a coaching. It, was, it wasn't much different from what I was doing before. Um, I help people cope with fears and doubt that can come through transition by helping them plan their next steps so they can create positive results. And as we know that uh, we are all going to through a type of transition now, um, change can be a choice or it can often a lot of times be forced upon you. And that's pretty much what's happened with this coronavirus and us being socially distanced and, and isolated in our homes and different things. But it's nice to see that we're all out and we're on, online on Zoom. And, you know, I appreciate my, Mike. Um, I also have a networking group, too, um, that um, 
we used to meet in person, but we transitioned over to Zoom also. And uh, we continue to interact. And it's a great way to keep connected uh, with other folks out there and um, keep your business going. And for a lot of people, this is all brand new. You know, it was, a, it was such a jolt because they have not been online. But for those of us that have been, um, it's been a bit, it's, it's a benefit. It's an opportunity. I think you have to look at things from a different perspective, not look at this as, um, yes, there's some bad things going on out there, but this is a great opportunity for us to serve others. And so I appreciate being a part of this group today. I always seem to keep missing it because our meeting is like right before this one. And um, today I, I made a point, I said, I wanna make sure I get on the call and I'm glad I'm here today. And it's really nice to hear from all of you and uh, just to uh, uh, be able to connect with the more folks. Thank you, Joanne. Uh, yeah, this is about cross-group networking. So I've gone up to uh, Joanne's meeting yes. and uh, she and I cross-network and uh, mm -hmm. that's what we want to do. We want to help everybody build each other's groups. You know, we mm -hmm. uh, cross-pollinate groups and we all get to know more and more people. So thanks for being here, Joanne. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, very good. Now, who would like to go next? James, are you up for it? I'll go in. I've just uh, kind of forewarned. I, I've got a meeting in about 15 minutes, so I may need to drop, but... Um, Fair enough. I appreciate it. So thank you for being here. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you having us, Mike. And uh, so essentially, uh, James Knight, uh, I have a company that essentially will help uh, companies uh, find those customers that are in market or have or has visited their website um, within the buyer's journey at some point. Uh, so essentially, it's all done through uh, identity resolution uh, via you know, technology from uh, first-party data suppliers such as Google, uh, AppNexus, Rubicon, companies like that that provide these first-party uh, this first-party data. And throughout the technology that uh, the company the the software that we use is we can identify these people that uh, are currently uh, seeking a solution to the problem that they have. Uh, and then secondly, if they've kind of uncovered what that solution may be uh, and looking at you as an option, we can identify those people by name and by email. Uh, so you can begin your marketing efforts, reach out to them directly and whatnot. Uh, ideally, uh, the way I'm kind of positioning this now and people uh, to companies in the, uh, you know, dealing with the, the pandemic is, you know, there's, I don't know, take a hundred companies out there. There's probably a good chance, you know, that, you know, 10 to 15% of them may not make it out of this, but, you know, there's another 85% that are, you know, they're going to hit some, some road bumps along the way, but essentially, uh, you know, we're all going to make it through it. And, and as, um, as Joanne was saying, you know, this is an opportunity uh, there are people still searching for solutions for their company, uh, whether it means to, to bridge revenue gaps. Uh, you know, if they've got a board of directors, they're still going to want to hit those revenue targets. And I can help uh, companies identify people that are actually uh, in market uh, for the services or products that, that they're selling. So uh, if anyone's interested, love to hop on a call, kind of kind of break it down show you how we do this and, and go from there, so. Now, uh, you have some sort of a joint venture opportunity with some companies. I don't know if you can do that with everybody, but is that something that people should reach out to you about and learn more about that? Absolutely. Um, yeah, you know, with the, you know, Mike and I would discuss, was it Monday, Mike? Uh, when we had a, a meeting about one of your other groups. Uh, you know, I, I have my license cost um, I'm basically offering what this technology is at a really deep discount for people, um, kind of an affinity type relationships, um, you know, JV relationships. Um, if one of the things that I'm doing right now is kind of throwing that lifeboat out there for people that may be furloughed or may have been laid off. Uh, I am currently, um, 
bringing on, in fact, this is my 12 o'clock or my, um, my two o'clock call is uh, getting uh, basically an appointment setter uh, trained up on who to go after, who to target. And I'm doing a 50-50 uh, uh, revenue share, 50 splitting the, splitting commissions after uh, you know net revenue. So 50-50 right. revenue share. And so if anyone's interested, if, if anyone knows anybody that's you know hit hard times, is kind of freaking out, has has the drive, um, you know, if low hanging fruit would be you know a Rolodex of business owners, um, you know, but. You know, we'll do a lot of training. I'm working the program right now because I've been doing a solo, um, but uh, I've got my guinea pig coming up here in about 10 minutes. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna sort through this together. All right, um, but uh, it's all right. Gonna, well, very good. Yeah, uh, we got to keep things <laughs> moving. Appreciate you. Uh, give you a little bonus uh, time there, but uh, I appreciate okay, it. Because you've got a great opportunity. I appreciate you very much. Okay, so can uh, put your contact now, information in the chat. Sorry, sorry, Dan. But can you put your contact information in the chat box? Sure. Yeah, just for everybody to see. All right, uh, Tanya, since you're speaking, uh, do, <laughs> how about if we bring you up next? I'm um, sure. Hi, my name is Tanya Nemsik and I have um, uh, a business called Q Up. I just met Mike this year and uh, just before the coronavirus really hit. So we were looking at doing in-person networking and now we're doing online networking. So um, I'm ex super excited to be here and, you know, meeting more people. Um, Basically, what I've been doing is financial advising for about the last 15 years, and I'm really focusing in on sort of the smaller, uh, smaller businesses and entrepreneurs um, and offering my services through this COVID process to help people, uh, help companies, help individual business owners to um, figure out where they need to make changes in their sort of company or where they can where they need to make changes and what they're they're going to be doing uh, with the changing times and putting together a solid financial plan for them to get there um, so that is what I do I'll put my contact information in here as well thank you and one of the things that we're all working on in the intermediate level this is the beginner uh, kind of entry level program but in the intermediate level we are all producing little uh, loom videos and uh, in some of the upcoming and future meetings we'll be able to share those so instead of just doing a little live presentation like this uh, Tanya would be able to do more of a zoom video uh, and share that with everybody with a little background slide. And, you know, we want to help people tell their stories. And then like Toastmasters, we help each other in the intermediate community of evaluating them, storytelling them, and where to post them too. So there's so many places you can go once you've got a solid foundation like this. So thank you very much for that, Tanya. And uh, Joel, would you like to uh, step up to the plate? Sure. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Great. Uh, I'm Joel Sachs. My company is Living Healthy with Us. And I first met Mike at the um, Super Networking event back in November, I believe. And Joanne, it's good to see you again. I remember actually uh, sitting across the, the table from you and uh, getting to know you uh, and, uh, and your impressive business. So uh, welcome. Um, my company is, uh, again, living healthy with us. My tagline is eat more greens to fit in your genes. And um, that's exactly what I'm about. During this uh, uh, challenging uh, time, it's really difficult for many of us to get the proper nutrition that we need. You know, a lot of the stores just don't have the the healthy foods that we can get. And even if they do, uh, for many of us, uh, we don't wanna risk going out into the world and getting uh, the food we need, we need to uh, thrive and survive. So the company I work with uh, has a, um, uh, an internet, uh, is internet-based where you order product and uh, powders and supplements online. 
It comes straight to your door and all of these uh, products and supplements are 100% organic, they're non-GMO. You just have the most amazing nutrition available uh, for you and your family and contain absolutely nothing <laughs> harmful uh, uh, for you. Uh, uh, so you're really able to nourish um, your cells, tissues, and organs. And again, especially during this time, I think it's really important to bolster our immune system and do everything we can to stay healthy and well. So I feel that it's very timely right now to uh, uh, do this. And then the other aspect, quite frankly, is that I'm looking for people who have a similar vision as I do and want to you know, um, start perhaps a little home-based business, share this with the people they care about, uh, because quite frankly, um, I don't know if you're aware, but uh, one family, the Walden family that owns Walmart, owns as much wealth as the sum total of the body, bottom 40% 40, 40 of this country. So a lot of people are really, really suffering. So I have a tool and ability to not only help people get their health uh, under control, but also to uh, work with me to get their wealth under control. So thank you. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to working with Mike and learning everything that he has to offer to help um, businesses throughout the entire uh, area and beyond um, survive and thrive during this time. Thank you, Joel. Joel is an excellent relationship builder. He's an outreach person. He and I become good friends. He's been over here at my uh, home studio in uh, uh, Lafayette, and uh, he's very uh, health conscious, environment conscious, and uh, he wants to take good care of you and take care of your health. So, Joel, thanks for being here. You're greatly appreciated, my friend. All right, uh, Craig, are you ready to uh, step up to the microphone? And uh, I, I got a little bit uh, about, I think you're a realtor, but you are a friend of Joe, so you're definitely welcome here, Craig. Uh, but uh, why don't you share a little bit more with us? Well, uh, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, because there's some, you know, some other people in the background. Um, I'm a real estate broker in San Francisco, and I also do work in Marin, where I live. And uh, Joe Ivanetti and I, we network together at another commercial real estate group that I belong to. So he invited me to your group. So that's that was the trajectory, and it's nice to meet all of you guys. So hello. Um, and you know, but basically what Joe's talking about, if you guys caught his presentation earlier, it's really important because there's a lot of different ways to make money in real estate, but there's um, there's also ways to save money. That's what Joe does. So especially for people that have investment properties, they'd probably be very interested in looking at uh, tax solutions to save them money. And I get into some of that with my business. I do mostly resale, but um, you know, we're doing all sorts of things right now. The, the market is very strange. You know, we can't even show real estate. So we have That's to use true. the video. We have to use the video products. Um, I've been using Zoom for maybe six weeks now, and so I have a little bit of a, my learning curve has already started, but there's a lot of tricks in this business, you know, with the Zoom and video presentation and um, just a lot of, you know, nuances, so I'm still learning. Yeah, there's a lot of depth to go into, and I think the background noise uh, may be coming from your environment, is that true? Oh. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the mic off. I'm sorry no, about no, that. No, it's okay. I want to make a point. Um, I have a uh, noise canceling mic, uh, and it's called Jabra. I think it's Jabra. I forget part of it, but you can find it on Amazon. The the neat thing about it, if you're in a loud environment, it, it's great because it kills out the other noise around you, so you can think. But it also doesn't translate, so you can be in fairly busy places if you have the right mic and still have a, a pretty good meeting. So anyway, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, yes, we, we agree that there's multiple levels. There's beginning, there's advanced, and I'm a longtime broadcaster with NBC in New York. And so I, I do wanna share one thing real quick here, one more video, just a minute of it. But I really want to um, 
let me call it up here. I think this might be it. Uh, I want everybody to see what the potential is for all of us of where we can take this. Uh, let's see, is this it? Oh, I know what I gotta do, sorry. Huh, is it more, oh, is that it? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, it is it, okay, good. So here's the, uh, here's the potential, can you guys see this or not? I guess not, here, oh, there it is. All right, I just wanna share this. This is the vision. Uh, this is where this came from. This is where we can go. This is the potential. This is where, you know, a number of the people on this call are here. Uh, in fact, there's Joel right there. Now our, our networking superstar, Joel. Every time we show that, you're the man, you're right there. That's great. Uh, Joanne's there, Joe's there. So, but look at, the, look at the vision. There's nothing that you're seeing here right now that we can't replicate online and even more intimately because just like if you look at every one of these tables not the collective but the individual tables that's what a breakout room is like so you we can break it out into multiple groups of four or five people in each of the different breakout rooms and then we can move around far faster so we could actually meet potentially as many as a hundred or more people in one hour session of networking. That's what we're building for. We're giving you the tools, we're showing you the vision, we're giving you the support help, and that's what we wanna do is we wanna be here for you. Now it's one o'clock, so I'm gonna wrap this up, uh, but it, does anybody have any uh, final questions or thoughts? We'd like you to uh, uh, stay in touch, and the best way to stay in touch is if you visit, I'm gonna give you a couple of sites, um, and I, I'd like you to, uh, to invite you to join the free public relations club.com. If you go there and register, then you'll get our ongoing video updates about, you know, how we're going and growing and how you can participate and stay. There's Joanne uh, involved and uh, grow together and work together with cross group. Uh, so we're growing in groups and bounds. And then if you take the website, noon webinar Wednesdays, and bookmark that and mark your, your calendar or your timer. Oh, it's 11.45 on Wednesday. Great, all I have to do is go to Noon Webinar Wednesdays, click on it, you'll always have the most current link because we may not always use Zoom. Sometimes we might use um, Google Hangouts for different networking. Uh, we can you know post to 150,000 people on YouTube through Google networking. Uh, right now so so always keep that one home base in your mind noon webinar wednesdays go to free public relations club dot com to and join the uh, facebook group then you can post your little loom videos in there to keep keep awareness you can post it on google uh, uh, Google My Business for high Google ranking. These are the intermediate and advanced things that we're gonna be teaching on an ongoing basis. So thanks for being here today. Hope you'll come back. Hope you'll join us. We wanna hear uh, who you are, what you need, what your questions are, because we can deliver whatever you need at the speed of TV news. So uh, thanks for joining us. Go to uh, noonwebinarwednesdays.com, bookmark that and bookmark Free Public Relations Club. I'm Mike Hayes, founder of Cross Group Networking. Reach me personally for a free one-to-one -one custom consultation at mike at crossgroupnetworking.com. Any final questions or thoughts or comments? I'm just looking forward to uh what we're doing i mean this was very powerful the uh what you're showing right here that cross group networking uh super networking last year what i like about what we will be doing is that we won't have all that background noise and distractions when we go into the breakout rooms it'll be a lot easier to stay focused so
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can even see it even being more effective. It is actually like the one I had this morning. It, it's amazing the effectiveness. And think of this: when the world gets hooked on this, they're not mm -hmm. going back. So oh, you no. might as well get used to it. This is being spoiled. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? This is fun. It's convenient. It's cheap. It's fast. It's effective. Uh, so when we go back to this kind of networking, Joel, we'll, we'll always have this too. So it'll be a, a a blend of the best of all worlds, and it's going to be great once we all stay safe and sound. And uh, please keep yourself stay uh, safe. Your best defense is, you know, your your head uh, to, you know, be aware and stay safe out there. And let's get past this and move on to better times real soon. So thanks everybody for being here. And I look forward to talking to you soon. I will be sending up follow up on this and other homework links that you can review in the meantime so that next week you uh, do the homework, practice, come back, get your questions answered, and we'll keep things moving forward. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, we need our group shot. Okay, so everybody, because this is how we recruit, right? So we've got to have that group shot. So let's have everybody give us a, a big smile and a wave, and we'll invite other people. Yay. Thank Yay. you. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Good meeting, Mike. Thank you.